Hi there. Welcome back to Print Lab Studio. Today I'll be interviewing my very good friend, Mr. Daniel. He was also name as Daniel Moran. So he's into gospel music. He has a lot of tracks to his name. He has albums in the market. And I would like to know why he chose gospel music and what he has to say concerning the industry and how young people like him can also and also make it to the top. So, Mr. Daniel, welcome on board. Welcome to Prince Last Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Please, um, uh, can we meet you? Yeah, um, like you already said, I'm Daniel, Daniel Kings, and you know, stage name is Daniel Ray, the gospel, gospel artist. And I started my musical journey from the very onset, from childhood. Okay. And I really broke into the industry 2017. Okay. That was when I started you know, pursuing a musical career. That's a good one. Thank you. So, I'd like to know how you came about the name Daniel Roy. Yeah. Yeah, people I really like, like, I, I, I like the name. <laughs> I really like the name and I would like to know why. Yeah. So, Daniel Roy is, um, would I call it an acronym? Okay, it's, it's Daniel Royal. That's, that's the okay. Thing. Thing. And actually, I and a very good friend of mine, we are having this vigil, so we, we pray throughout the night. Okay. And then I had this inspiration to like, you know, write this name. So I was, you know, I, I was, I was, it came like a flash. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know, I knew I was supposed to be done already. So it's, I think, I think it's, it's from God. Yeah, that, that's good. So I would like to ask again that, um, what does music mean to you? Well, to the average person. So Mr. Danny Roy, what does um, music mean to you? Well, music to the average person is um, sounds that are beautiful. Of course. You know, sounds that are not, they don't, it's not just noise. You know, the thing between like sound, the noisy sound and actually beautiful sound yeah. that make meaning to the air. So, but at music to me is more than that, more than a collection of sounds which sound beautiful or good. Music is an expression, a heartfelt expression, which you break out through melodic sounds. That's so cool. it's, it's words of, you know, greatness, heartfelt love, and in my own direction, worship, worshiping mm -hmm. God. So God blessed us with that gift, you know, to be able to you know, worship him through music. Mm, right. So, uh, thank you very much. So, I would like to. So, I would like to ask again that why did you choose the part of gospel music? Considering the fact that there is so much money in um, the genre yeah. that these guys are into, the likes of this kid, they don't. Yeah. A lot of people have asked me that. So, why would you choose? I, as a young man, I would, I, would, I would want to choose gospel. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, why why did you choose gospel music? Well, gospel music, I won't really say I had a choice. Why? Mm -hmm. Why I said that is because I think I had a very strong relationship with God when I would say at a very young age. So I think it was not like a crossing over to gospel. It was more of, you know, I always knew I had to do gospel because God gave me that, you know, that talent. Mm -hmm. It was a God-given gift. So I, I knew I had no other choice but to use it for him. And I've, and I've been approached by, you know, several people to actually join the other side, secular, the secular music industry, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's not going to give me enough joy and mm -hmm. fulfillment. And in life, when you're not fulfilled, you know, it's terrible. So basically, it's not your thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Thank you for that. So what's your discography, if I may ask? Well, my first single, well, like I told you, I started music soon at 17, and that's, that was the period I released a first single, and I love you. Okay. So, and I, I didn't really know that it was going to like become like I was going to be more serious mm. at the professional level. Yeah. So I released some other tracks, and it became an album. And the album was for love. It had the central theme was about love, and yes, I, I was, was I was going to ask you that why was your, what was love the central theme of your last album? Yeah, okay, that's a very good question. Yeah. A lot of people are asking me because you know, the tracks and I love you 
for love, let it be love. Yeah. And you know, love, love, love. People keep on asking me, so ask me, are you a love doctor? You know? <laughs> <laughs> actually, the one of the things that actually made me so you know inspired yeah. is God's unconditional love. Nothing mm. beats that. Mm. It's like the greatest. It's exceptional, it's wonderful, it's it revives you, it makes you feel alive. So, you know, one, me, you know, having experienced that perfect love of God, you know, I, I knew I had to break forth into singing His mm. praise is true love. So it was like, you know, I had to do this and God giving me the inspiration. Yeah, I, I listened to one of your songs and I really liked it. Yeah, that's true. So, um, uh, I would like to ask again that, could you describe your creative process? Maybe when you're writing music, no. Yeah, okay. The first thing that comes to my, my, my mind is a melody. That's the first thing. Okay. So I, I start from a melody. You know, God gives me the inspiration of that. Mm. I start with a melody and, you know, from a melody, I start, you know, asking for direction from the Holy Spirit. He gives me words. Okay. Yeah, and that's cool. from then on, you know, I'm good to make music. And, you know, a lot of people have asked me, like, it's, it's sometimes so easy for you to, like, make music. And on stage, sometimes, I just hold the mic and start composing music right there. Wow. So, that's, that's cool. so it's, it's really grace. It's mm. really grace. It's mm. just grace. It's wow. God's wow. grace. So I'd like to ask before we close this interview that are we expecting any single or how about from you soon? Well, yes. I actually released a song late last year and the song was Nanigi in Onimbi. Okay. So, and I have, I'm working on some other tracks, and it's going to be an album, an album, let me just, did I tell you the name? Okay, yeah, Because of Love, it's also Love, and it's, this is going to be very impactful, yeah. it's going to be very inspirational, mm -hmm. it comes from the deepest part of my heart, and mm -hmm. I literally poured out my whole heart, you mm -hmm. know, making this, mm -hmm. this album, so it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Yeah, it's coming it's very soon. Is, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And um, what advice do you, have to, do you have for those that are willing to go into music? Uh, maybe they don't have the funds or they don't have the opportunity. But what advice would you like to give to them based on your own experience? Yeah, the first thing is, do you have the passion for it? <laughs> That's the thing. That's the yes. question. Do you have the passion to make music? Mm. Do you have a passion to, in my, in my own um, direction, gospel music to worship God, you know? So it's all about God giving one the, the passion, then the anointing, mm. and the, we call it the auction, mm. you know, to, to actually carry that tax out. So it, it has to do with a lot of, you know, work. So you have to be passionate about it first. Mm. And then once you, once you have the passion, then the next thing is you have to have is you to continue you know it's, it's not a very easy journey you know being a being a gospel musician especially mm -hmm. not a secular musician you have to make a lot of sacrifices of course and you know you have to be up and doing with what you're doing mm -hmm. because that's how you get heard of course that's true so i think um, i only have two more questions here and the first one is can you do a freestyle for us wow yeah. <laughs> Okay, the, the song um, I released late last year. Ebi ebi chuku eze ifama ekene tiri kiri gigi. Ifuna ye chuku odena kachi kukuma noya namiki uchimo. Uchimo Namiki Uchimo Uchimo Wow. Alone that's, that's really spiritual. No, I'm already in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in church and, you know, the spirit is... But well, it's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. And um, I don't know, people might like to contact you. And um, I don't know if you can give us a socials. Yeah, you should share what, what's your handle on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram is Official Danny Roy. Okay. So you search for it at Official Danny Roy. Could you spell the Danny Roy? D 
T A N N Y R O Y. An official Daniel. You can take me shopping for the Daniel. Or well, Facebook. Facebook. You can get me at Danny Roy. Danny Roy and for love by Danny Roy. That's one of that's my main page for now. Okay. For love by Danny Roy. So are you on Twitter so I can report to work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all good. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming on board and talking about yourself and experiences. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.